Hello friends, we are going to see the next theorem in the similarity. The theorem of 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree angle. And the statement of the theorem is, if the measure of angles of a triangle are 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree, then the measure opposite to the side of a 30 degree angle is a half of the hypotenuse and the measure of a side opposite to the 60 degree angle is a root 3 upon 2 times of the hypotenuse. That is statement. And therefore, we take a triangle PQR in which angle P is equal to 30 degree, angle Q is equal to 60 degree and angle R is equal to 90 degree. It means the measure of angles of a triangle PQR are 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree respectively. Here, the to prove of the theorem is the measure of side opposite to the 30 degree angle. P is the 30 degree angle. Therefore, its opposite side is QR. Its measure is half of the hypotenuse. It means half of the length of PQ. And the other similarly, the measure of a side opposite to the 60 degree angle means length of the side PR is a root 3 upon 2 times of the hypotenuse it means root 3 upon 2 times of PQ therefore we write the first given and to prove of the theorem in the triangle PQR the measure of angle P is equal to 30 degree measure of angle Q equal to 60 degree and measure of angle R is equal to 90 degree. That is the given of the theorem. To prove of the theorem is side opposite to the 30 degree angle means side QR is equal to half of hypotenuse. It means half of the PQ. And second to prove of the theorem is length of side PR means side opposite to the 60 degree angle is a root 3 upon 2 times of the hypotenuse means PQ that is the equation of the two group we draw the first construction take a point M on the side or ray QR such that QM uh, QR is equal to QM and draw segment PM that is construction write it take a point Take a point M on the ray on the ray QR such that QR is equal to MR and draw segment. Draw segment PM is the construction of theorem. Now we get the proof of the theorem. Here angle PRQ is equal to 90 degree measure because given. It's mean segment PR is a perpendicular to segment MQ equation number one first equation thus second MR is equal to QR 
becomes construction construction mr is equal to qr it means r is the midpoint of the segment mq the other meaning of mr is equal to qr segment pr is the bisector of segment mq therefore pr is the bisector of segment mq equation number 2 now look at the equation 1 and 2 carefully in the first equation segment pr is the perpendicular to segment mq in the first equation and segment pr is the bisector of segment mq in the second equation from the equation 1 and 2 segment pr is the perpendicular bisector of segment mq segment pr is is the perpendicular bisector of segment mq from equation 1 and 2 Now the we use the theorem of perpendicular. The theorem of perpendicular bisector is the any point or every point on the perpendicular bisector is the equidistant from the end points of the given segment. That means here point P is lies on the perpendicular bisector of segment M Q. Therefore, by the theorem, point P is equidistant from the end points of the segment mq means p is the equidistant from point m and point q now by the theorem of perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector segment pm is equal to segment pq and equation number Uh, when the two segments or two sides of a one triangle are congruent, in the triangle look at the triangle PMQ here. Here are two sides PM and PQ are congruent in the equation. Therefore, their opposite angles are also congruent. The opposite angle of a side PQ is a M, and opposite angle of a side PM is a Q. These two angles M and Q are congruent here. Therefore. Angle Q congruent is angle Y. The opposite angle of congruent sides, but angle Q is equal to given 60 degree because given of the theorem. And if one of the angle is a 60 degree, then another is also. 60 degree angle M equal to 60 degree, and when the two angles of a triangle PMQ which are the 60 degree, then the remaining third angle is also 60 degree. Angle. Now angle YMPQ is also 60 degree measure because the remaining angle of a triangle and when the each angle of a triangle pmq is the 60 degree measure then the triangle is the equilateral triangle it's mean all sides of the triangle pmq are congruent now therefore triangle pmq is the equilateral triangle equilateral triangle and they are all sides side pm as equal to side mq as equal to side pq all three sides are congruent now but here by the construction 
R is the midpoint of the segment MQ. It means we can write in the equation then QR, length of segment QR is the half of length of segment MQ because construction by the construction but of three segments in the equation number three there are three segments are congruent then the length of QR is a half of segment MQ by the construction but the segment MQ is congruent with segment TQ in the equation number three therefore we replace the value of MQ is a TQ in the equation we get QR is equal to half of segment PQ and that is the first proof to prove of the our theorem QR is equal to half of the side or of side Thank opposite to the mean 30 degree angle is a half of the hypotenuse equation number 4 now we get the second to prove of the theorem of uh, the length of side PR means side opposite to the 60 degree angle is a root 3 upon 2 times of the PQ. In the triangle, PQR angle R is equal to 90 degree because V1. Therefore, by the Pythagoras theorem, by the Pythagoras theorem, we get the side PR square plus QR square is equal to PQ square but the length of side QR is a half of PQ in the fourth equation therefore we replace the value of QR is a half of half of PQ PR square plus half of PQ square is equal to PQ square now taking the square of the bracket we get the value PR square plus square of 1 is a 1, square of 2 is a 4 and square of PQ is a PQ square is equal to again PQ square. Now here we get the equation PR square is equal to PQ square minus 1 upon 4 PQ square. These two are like terms, therefore we write in them in the right hand side and now PQ square is the common term, therefore we divide each term by PQ square, we get the value 1 minus 1 upon 4. If we divide PQ square by PQ square, we get the value 1 and if we divide minus 1 upon 4 PQ square by PQ square, we get the value 1 upon 4. Now, subtraction of 1 and 1 upon 4 is we get the equation PQ PR square is equal to PQ square 4, 4 multiply 1 means 4 and minus 1 means 3 PQ square multiply 3 upon 4 and now taking square root of the both sides we get the equation PR square taking square root of the both sides we get the equation PR is equal to the root 3 upon 2 into the square root of the PQ square is a PQ. It's mean the length of side PR is a half is a root 3 upon 2 times of the <coughs> hypotenuse. Here we can <coughs> we prove that the length of side opposite to the 60 degree angle is a root 3 upon 2 times of the hypotenuse.